The mighty Megalodon once dominated the seas, terrifying marine life and shredding everything in its path. Long after dinosaurs were wiped out by a cataclysmic meteor strike, known as both the largest and most ferocious predator in history and the biggest shark ever, it reigned supreme in the oceans, cruising freely through most marine regions. But around 2.5 million years ago, the last of these ocean giants vanished, leaving behind only massive teeth for today's scientists to unearth. Initially, researchers believed a large-scale oceanic extinction around that time was to blame. Some speculated that a nearby supernova, about 150 light-years from Earth, could have impacted our planet's climate with its radiation. This is plausible since when stars explode, they release an immense amount of energy that travels for hundreds or even thousands of light years. If that radiation hit Earth, it could have altered global temperatures, making survival tough for many species, including the Megalodon. However, a 2019 discovery changed things. Fossil records showed that Megalodon remains were older than expected, suggesting the species may have died off before the supernova occurred. Scientists needed a new explanation, and surprisingly, it came from another shark, the Great White. At the height of their dominance, Megalodons were the top of the food chain, or apex predators, facing no competition in the open ocean. They fed primarily on whales and large marine mammals, and were even known to hunt smaller sharks. With lengths surpassing 60 feet and weighing up to 50 tons, they boasted the most powerful bite of any known animal. No creature could walk or swim away unharmed from a battle with a meg. One key reason we know so much about the megalodon is its teeth. Unlike bones, shark teeth fossilize easily because they're harder than the cartilage that makes up most of a shark's body. Sharks have very little bone, which makes them incredibly flexible and able to stretch their jaws wide open. Over time, sharks evolve protruding jaws to snatch prey more effectively, which is clearly seen in today's goblin shark. Since cartilage isn't durable, their teeth needed to be tougher, and evolution provided the solution an endless supply of sharp, hook-like teeth. Sharks grow these in multiple rows that quickly replace worn-out ones. Throughout its life, a single shark can shed and regenerate its entire set of teeth up to 50 times. Megalodons are often imagined as oversized great white sharks, but that's not quite accurate. While they do share some similarities, the megalodon more closely resembled today's bull shark, featuring a shorter snout, a flat lower jaw, and long, powerful pectoral fins to support its huge size. Also, fossil records indicate that the ancestors of great whites swam the seas during the Megalodon's era. Still, size wasn't everything. Despite their enormous strength, Megalodons were less agile than smaller predators like great whites. These nimble sharks may have competed with the Meg for food and often came out ahead. They didn't need to fight the Meg head on. Instead, they'd steal prey that the slower Megalodon had targeted but even this doesn't fully explain why the megalodon vanished. Great whites typically hunted smaller animals, not whales, which were the megalodon's main course. More importantly, it's rare for one species alone to drive another to extinction. It likely required more competition. That's where tiger sharks and makos enter the picture. Both smaller than great whites, they were nonetheless efficient and aggressive hunters. These three species likely created intense pressure on food resources, gradually edging the megalodon out. When the meg tried to steal prey, its quicker opponents would flee rather than fight. This competition severely impacted young megalodons. While adult megs could easily bring down a whale, their young were much smaller and far more vulnerable. Scientists believe that juvenile megalodons often fell prey to other sharks, including great whites, bull sharks, and tigers. Even a teenage megalodon was usually half the size of an adult great white and stood little chance in a direct encounter. Even without direct attacks, young megs may have struggled to find food. With so many smaller sharks increasing in number, the available prey became scarce. As the population of these smaller predators surged, they outcompeted the juvenile megalodons for resources. Over time, many of the younger megs likely starved before reaching adulthood. If that wasn't enough to doom them, climate change delivered the final blow. Megalodons preferred warm tropical and subtropical seas. When they first appeared around 20 million years ago, Earth's climate was generally warmer, making much of the ocean habitable. Megalodon fossils have been found everywhere from the Pacific to the Atlantic, and even in what are now desert regions of Africa. But over time, global temperatures shifted. As Earth cooled, especially near the poles, many marine animals adapted to colder conditions. The megalodon, however, remained in warmer waters, 
limiting its range and hunting grounds. Meanwhile, its favorite prey, the whales, adapted to the cold and began migrating farther north. These massive mammals enjoyed new feeding grounds free from their primary predator, the megalodon, unwilling or unable to follow them into chillier waters, stayed behind. Around three million years ago, Earth entered a pattern of climate fluctuations that still exists today. Glaciers expanded in the Northern Hemisphere, reaching deep into North America in winter and retreating in summer. At the same time, krill, the favorite food of baleen whales, began to flourish in cold coastal waters. The whales took notice. They moved north where food was plentiful and threats were minimal. With no predators to harass them, they could feed, grow larger and multiply. Meanwhile, vast stretches of ocean between coasts became biological dead zones. No food, no prey. The megalodon, bound to warmer seas and left behind, lost access to both its major food source and the smaller prey it once hunted. The whales were gone to colder regions and the agile, fast-growing shark species had taken over what remained. Gradually, the megalodon population began to dwindle. It couldn't feed, reproduce or compete. Eventually, the oceans were empty of these colossal hunters. The great white shark, once a minor competitor, inherited the role of the sea's most feared predator. And that's how one of the largest and deadliest sharks in Earth's history was finally pushed into extinction. Not by a single cataclysm, but through a perfect storm of competition, climate change, and bad luck.